Shana Tova. Happy New Year. I am Rabbi Jerry Newberg, and I am joined by Cantor Farron Rudnick, Rabbi Kevin Kleinman, our Executive Director Amy Krulik, the wonderful and talented Hannah Rothman, our amazing new ECE Director Michaela Schwartz, and Ross M. Levy. We look forward to sharing the coming year with you, and we wish you and yours the very, very best for a happy, healthy, and peaceful 5782. Hine Matov, how good it is, how sweet it is that we are celebrating together. momentous time, let's all together praise Hashem for entering this new year. rise as we are able for our call to worship the Baruch Hu.
Look at that. It's a miracle happening. We enter into the Aron HaKodesh, the sacred ark, to take the Torahs and to praise God with the words of Avinu Malkeinu. With the words of Avinu Malkeinu, we thank God for all of the gifts in our life, and we know that we will do better in the coming year. The Hardest Word, A Yom Kippur Story A long, long time ago, the world had many large and fabulous creatures. One of those creatures was a gigantic yellow bird with dark red wings and a purple forehead. He was called the Ziz. The Ziz was so huge that when he spread out his wings, he blocked the sun, as if he were a dark rain cloud. Every time he flew over a town, all the mothers would call to their children, Come inside quickly before it rains. This made the big Ziz sad. He loved children and didn't want to spoil their playtime. So the Ziz started flying around at night when no one would notice that he had made the sky dark with his gigantic wings. That worked fine for a while. Then one night, the big Ziz flew too high and he bumped into a star. The star fell out of the sky and down to earth. It burned a big hole in the ground. The next morning when the Ziz saw the big hole, he was worried. What can I do to cover the hole? He asked himself. He thought about it for a while and came up with an idea. He stretched out his huge wings and went back up into the sky. This time he knocked down a cloud. Plop! The cloud was full of rain and it filled the big hole with water. Now the big hole was a lovely pond, perfect for swimming. 
all the children came running to the pond, screaming with delight. It was a hot, sunny day, and they had a wonderful time splashing and playing in the water. That mistake is all fixed, the Ziz smiled. One day, however, the Ziz made a mistake he could not fix. It was the week before Yom Kippur. He was flying along, not watching where he was going, and he flew smack into the tallest pine tree in the world. Boom! The tree fell over and knocked over another tree. That tree knocked down another tree, and that tree fell on the vegetable garden behind the synagogue. Smash! Squash! Oops! Oh no! The Ziz covered his eyes with his big wings. Not the vegetable garden. It belongs to the children. The Ziz uncovered his eyes to look at the damage. The tomatoes, the corn, the pumpkins, the beans, the gourds, the squash. All the vegetables the children had worked so hard to plant were smashed to bits. I can't knock down a cloud and fix this, the Ziz cried. The Ziz flew home and sat in his own garden to think. He had watched the children plant their vegetable garden. Every year they harvested the fruits to decorate their sukkah. What would the children do this year? The Ziz spread out his big wings and flew off to have a chat with God. The Ziz had a special place where he liked to talk to God. It was Mount Sinai. The Ziz was so huge that when he stood on Mount Sinai, his purple feathered head reached right into heaven. What have you done this time? God asked as soon as he saw the Ziz. This was not the first time. The Ziz had come to Mount Sinai after making a mistake. I knocked over a big tree. It knocked over another tree. That tree smashed a vegetable garden. The children's garden, God questioned. Yes, the Ziz admitted, hanging his head. That's a problem, God said. I can't knock down a cloud and make this better. No, you can't, God agreed. What should I do? I want you to do something for me, God said. Anything, the Ziz promised. I want you to search the earth and bring back the hardest word. The hardest word, the Ziz questioned. Yes, God answered. Now go. The Ziz stretched his big wings and went off to search. He flew over mountains. He flew over trees. He flew over valleys. He flew over seas. Flap, flap. I'm the biggest bird. Flap, flap. Searching for the hardest word. After searching the whole day, the Ziz stopped to rest at the edge of a forest. In a little house nearby, he heard a mother and a child arguing. I don't want to go to bed, the little boy said. You need your rest, the mother said. I'm not tired, the little boy cried. Good night, the mother said firmly, closing the door. That's it. Ziz flapped his wings. The hardest word, I found it. Ziz flew as fast as he could to Mount Sinai. With great excitement, he put his bird feet down on the top and poked his purple feathered head up into heaven. I found it. I found the hardest word. What is it? God asked. It's good night. Every child hates that word. Ziz did a dance right on top of Mount Sinai. He loved being right. Good night is a hard word for children, God agreed. I knew it. I knew it, Ziz danced. But there is another word even harder, God said. There is? Ziz slumped over, disappointed. There is, God declared. Go and find it. So the Ziz spread out his mighty wings and went off to search. He flew over mountains, he flew over trees, he flew over valleys, he flew over seas. Flap, flap, I'm the biggest bird. Flap, flap, searching for the hardest word. After searching all day, Ziz stopped at a big feast on the grounds of a castle. He listened. With so many people talking, he felt sure someone would say the hardest word. I'm hungry, a little girl said to her mother. May I have some piscetti, please? The mother smiled. Oh, you want spaghetti? That's it, Ziz realized. I've got it now. He spread out his giant bird wings and flew back to Mount Sinai. He planted his bird feet on the mountaintop and poked his purple feathered head into heaven. I know the hardest word, he sang. What is it, God asked. It's spaghetti. Ziz hopped up and down on one foot. Standing still was hard, especially when he was excited. Spaghetti is a hard word to say, God agreed. Didn't I tell you? Ziz hopped some more. 
But there is another word even harder, God said. There is? Ziz slumped over, disappointed. There is, God declared. Go out and find it. The Ziz stretched his big wings and went back out to search. He flew over mountains, he flew over trees, he flew over valleys, he flew over seas. Flap, flap, I'm the biggest bird. Flap, flap, searching for the hardest word. The Ziz searched for three more days. He brought back lots of words to Mount Sinai. Words like rock, rhinoceros, ridiculous, and rumpelstiltskin. Each time, God sent the Ziz back out to find another word. By the evening of Yom Kippur, the Ziz had brought over 100 words to Mount Sinai. God had not accepted any of them. The Ziz was discouraged. He had tried and tried. He flew back to Mount Sinai to have one more discussion with God. What word did you bring this time? God asked. No word, the Ziz said quietly. No word, God asked. No, the Ziz said sadly. I've come to say I'm sorry. I can't find the hardest word. You can't? God asked. No, the Ziz shook his head. I'm sorry. You're sorry? God asked. Yes, Ziz nodded his big purple head. I'm sorry. Good job, said God. You found the hardest word. I did. Now the Ziz was confused. Yes, God said, the hardest word is sorry. While all the words you brought me were hard, sorry is the hardest. I always say I'm sorry on Yom Kippur, the Ziz said. Well, you should say it other times too, God answered. Like when I smashed the garden, Ziz asked. That's right, God said. The Ziz thanked God and pulled his purple feathered head out of heaven. Then he spread out his great big wings and flew back to the children's garden. On the way, he stopped at his own garden and gathered a big basket of fruits and vegetables for the children. It was time to say the hardest word. Part of what we get to practice this time of year is saying I'm sorry. And we can get really good at it when we say it three times which is the amount of times that our tradition tells us we get to say it, to know that we really mean it. I'm sorry for the things that I've said. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Take my hand, we'll walk together in peace. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the things I've said I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Take my hand, we'll walk together in friendship. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the things that I've said. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Take my Sometimes slow and sometimes fast I like to hear 
Gamar Hatimatova, may you all be inscribed for good in the coming year. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Have a happy, happy new year. Tikiyah. 